we're back before another weekend of March Madness. So grab your dancing shoes, folks. Our expert in the khakis, Steve Kornacki, NBC News national political correspondent, here with everything we need to know as we head into the Sweet 16. Although for Steve Kornacki, the Sweet 16, not so sweet. Bracket, bracket was busted we'll pretty early. We'll I mean, you there. called me an expert, and then we're going to show, yeah. if you show my bracket, I well, look like bracket, anything but. In all fairness, your bracket usually struggles. It does. Yeah. Yeah. This, yeah. Year, yeah. this, this year, no, exceptionally, though. I, I, we'll, I, we'll talk more about that in a moment. <laughs> Let's start on the women's yeah. side, though, because we got some some really impressive storylines here. Yeah, take a look here. This is the women's bracket now down to a sweet 16 here. All four number one seeds did survive those opening two rounds here. But some things to highlight maybe. How about Stanford? Stanford getting to the sweet 16, but boy, did they have a scare from Iowa State. Went oh. to overtime there. So Stanford just kind of uh, gets its way into the sweet 16 there. Uh, a couple other stories interesting here. Juju Watkins, a freshman yeah. at U.S. USC with a couple big performances here, including a double-double USC in the Sweet 16. And then how about old UConn? They used to be the undisputed beasts of this tournament. They're not bad now, but they're a bit under the radar here. Paige Beckers carried them past Syracuse in the second round. They get Duke. Could they be on the start of a Cinderella run for the tournament? Something UConn's not used to on the women's side. Uh So is Uh it possible to maybe see an Iowa-LSU rematch? I think a lot of people are wondering. You see it up here. Iowa's got Colorado next. LSU's got UCLA next. If they both win those games, then there it is. Hmm. Last year's national championship game. An elite eight rematch here. Angel Reese, Caitlin Clark. And if they do face off the winner of that, goes to the final four. Wow. Okay, of course, everybody seems to have to get past South Carolina, number one. Last two games, it seems like the other teams didn't even show up. Uh, yeah, I mean, you take a look here. South Carolina, I don't think you call this struggling. No. They beat poor Presbyterian by 52 Aww. points, followed it up by a win over the ACC's North Carolina by 47 points, a combined 99-point margin. South Carolina now 34-0 and 0 on the year. Remember, we said it last week, all five starters. It's an amazing story. Brand new this yeah, year. It's and an amazing they are, story. They are more dominant, so they are wow. certainly still the heavy well, favorites. If you're from the other team, if they did their best. Um, Let's talk about the men's tournament. A lot of upsets this year. Yeah, we had a couple here, and highlighting them, the biggest one last weekend. Maybe you saw some of the highlights. Maybe you watched it. Oakland uh, over Kentucky there, a big upset. Three-point shooting carried the Golden Grizzlies. The James Madison Dukes knocked off Wisconsin. Set up a James Madison Dukes versus Duke Blue Devils second round game, but Duke crushed them. And then, yes, we talked about my bracket. Last week I said, here's my national champion. I did say. It's often the kiss of death. I chose Auburn to win it all. You did. And they lost to Yale in the oh. first round. So I did not enjoy but you watching need that one. like this, I think. To keep it, to keep <laughs> it, it right? That's what, yeah, that's what yeah. I'm here for. And then, of course, Yale in the second round loses by like 30 points. So I feel even worse about that. Oh. All right. What other teams should we be on the lookout for in the Sweet 16? Yeah, the take a look. The, uh, the men's bracket, we just talked about it. LSU versus Iowa, potentially a national championship rematch. We got one tonight on the yeah. men's side. Last year's national champion. Oh, I don't know what I just did there. Last year's <laughs> national champion, UConn, against the team that beat in the title game, San Diego State. That game is tonight. It's in Boston. Okay. And those UConn fans are fanatics. You can expect that. They travel. Boston and Garden is probably going to be heavy, heavy UConn. I don't know how many are making the trip from the West Coast for that. <laughs> but, yeah, all number one seeds intact here uh, on the men's side. The biggest Cinderella. I don't even call it this, but NC State is an 11 seed uh, ACC team. They've won seven straight, got their way through the conference tournament. That's the closest thing you got here to a Cinderella story. Otherwise, wow. besides those upsets we showed you, the kind of a formful tournament so okay. far. Okay, okay. You have a trivia question for us? Yeah, so we're saying formful. That means all the one seeds, as we said, are still alive. All the two seeds on the men's side are also still alive. So the question becomes, how many times has this happened? Where all the ones, all the twos make it to the Sweet 16. Three, five, eight. 11. Those are your options. What are your answers? I'm going to say three. Uh, I'm going with B. I'm going to go with B. Uh-huh. I'm going to go with Dylan here, which I never do. So, <laughs> hey. You think it's very uncommon. Three and five are the choices they've made. The answer, B. Oh, five. Hey, we lost. Up top. 1989, 1995, 2009, 2019, and now... 2024. Okay. Wow. There you go. So that was great. That was good. All right, guys. Great job. Thank Enjoy you. Enjoy the games. All right. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.